Hello, my name is Apar Gupta. I'm the executive director of the Internet Freedom Foundation. And today I'm here to talk to you about the National Economic Survey. Well, you may be hearing a lot about the Indian budget, but one day before the budget is released, the National Economic Survey sets out the philosophy and contains a lot of detail on what is actually contained in the philosophy of the budget by itself why certain allocations are made and here this year the national economic survey has a individual chapter which is titled as physical and digital infrastructure lifting the potential growth and at its very root it starts with acknowledging that a large number of indians are connected by mobile phones to the internet today and this at its very pace is what takes forward national economic growth however i think that National Economic Survey fails to account for much more recent data. For instance, the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India notes that between October 2021 and September 2022, the total number of urban and rural telephone subscribers has in fact contracted with a negative compound annual growth of minus 0.10% and minus 0.17% respectively. Now, there is also some uncritical buoyancy and appreciation around deployments such as COVID. Now, COVID worked for a lot of us. We were able to vaccinate ourselves, but it worked first and best for the most privileged. As per a study on July 4, 2021, the number of vaccines which were administered in 114 of the least developed districts in India was lower than the nine urban cities. And these nine urban cities have half the population of these districts. Now, such data points are very important for us to consider for a much more humane digitization and which flows into resource allocations, given that this digital public goods are for every Indian, not only for those who have two to three internet connections. One other area where I think we need to improve is through an honest acknowledgement of what actually constitutes a digital public good. And here I think some examples which are used in the National Economic Survey, such as the ONDC, which is the Open Network for Digital Commerce, presumes that there'll be government ownership over such platforms and networks. But this is not the case. Their governance quite often and their development quite often is left by private enterprise. There's a very unclear relationship or how the government uh, intersects and controls it. This may lead to the formation of oligopolies. Certain business models may be preferred and it may restrict certain practices. It may not truly be a digital public good. Which brings me to the last feature where I think the National Economic Survey could have done better. Here, for instance, there's a clear avoidance of the development of regulation, legality. For instance, the account aggregator framework is called quote unquote, a techno legal framework, but it has no legislative backing. Similarly, the national data governance policy, which is to utilize anonymous data sets can easily also lead to re-identification without a data protection law. This puts all of us to risk. Finally, as we look towards the digital public good story, which will help all of us actually benefit from more digitization, a more critical, a more honest admission is necessary. This is especially necessary when we succeed and there is a part of failure or the digitization does not work for some part of India. This is only when we also honestly acknowledge these issues, we will have the opportunity to improve. Please do also check out the video by my colleague Tejasi, which explains in greater detail what have been the actual budgetary allocations around the union budget for the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. And if you really like our work, if you like what IFF does, I would urge you to consider donating to us, becoming a member, supporting this long-term policy work, this really tough work, which we are trying to communicate to more and more Indians as digitization becomes a very important part of our life. Thank you so much for watching and please do consider reading our other explainer as well as other material on the union budget as well. Thank you.